The following video is common to both the SST ESR2 CLX RLL and the SST SR4 CLX RLL. Uh, although the uh, SR4 is Modbus only and, and we'll be going doing the example as Modbus TCP, uh, the configuration is identical for both of them for the extended addressing. Now if you remember from the basic video, the, uh, the module has 250 words of input data, 248 words of output data that are automatically updated uh, on the RPI. So what the extended database allows us to do is to go in and set up whatever size of input and output tables we want. And, and then with a simple add-on instruction, uh, it'll take care of moving all that data for us. Uh, so we will start with a brand new project. And we set it up like we did before. That's the IP address of our ENDT module. Um, the ESR2 modules in slot three, uh, our local network IP address 192.168.1.5. And the Ether, ESR2 uh, ethernet address is 76. Okay, so we want to set up our Modbus TCP channel. We'll just select Modbus today. Now, the first thing we want to do here is go in and set the database size. So we go to the database, double click on it, and we check this box that said extended addressing mode. Now, we have a 30K uh, Word database. You can set up the input and output sizes for anything within that uh, range. Uh, what we're going to do is start at 1,000 offset and length of 1,000 words. And then for the output, we'll start at offset 2,000, again with the length of 1,000. And the status will be uh, start at 3,000 and a length of 255 is fine. We'll say OK. Uh, so that's our database set up. Uh, now we need to add a device, uh, an equipment. In this case, the equipment address is 77. And then we want to set up uh, two cyclic functions just to read and write. Now, the first thing we'll notice when we come here is that the input table starts at 1,000 now. So before, it would have started at 0 here. Uh, that's all blank. It's not mapped. There's the input table. Uh, the output table there starting at 2,000 and the status table. So we'll start with a write function and generic modbus and the address in our device that we want to write to is at uh, um, 6,000 and 10 words. And you can see that it takes up the, uh, uh, the 10 words there. And we'll say OK. And we'll set up a read function. We've got some data in the device at offset 5,000, so we'll read from there. Again, 10 words, and we see where it's showing up there in the input table. We'll say OK. And that's all we have to do to set up this for the example. We're going to save that and download to the card. And while that's downloading, we'll start up our logics. <coughs> 